Hey guys, it's John, your Tennessee flying farmer. Um, day 15 of the build challenge. I'm still still working on doors. Um, well, again, I haven't got as far as I would like, but let's go straight to it. This guy's good. Now, here's our farmer, John Humbred. Look at that! Oh my God! That was Whoa. good. Like I said, I haven't got anywhere near as far as I'd like again today. Uh, stuff just happens and, well, we don't get to work on stuff as much as we want to sometimes. But anyway, I do have all the tubes at least mounted up into the door now. Still have just a little bit of trimming to go. I don't have the inside brackets put on yet. I just have the outside. So I'm not hardly caught up to where I am on the, on the door on the other side, but I'm getting close. Um, anyway, I've got it, like I said, I've got it to where I can I can actually open and close it now and it stays all together in one piece. So that's that's a pretty big, pretty big benefit really. It's nice to see it at least starting to come together. I've done the other side months ago, so I'm I'm kind of glad to get this side caught back up. Um I don't really recommend doing that. I'd started the other side just to see how bad it was gonna be and what I was getting into since I, the 701 does not have doors like these. And while I was into it, I should have just jumped right into the second one and had it at the same place. But I got tied up with, I don't know, everything work-wise. And, um, well, for whatever reason, I kind of put the second one off. So I've got this second one getting close to the first one. I'm, I'm glad to get, get to there. Um, that's as far as I've got. It's, it's a little progress, not much, but I guess every little bit counts, right? So today I'm going to go straight into question and answer. This is this question wasn't necessarily for the Super Duty, but it does involve the single seat 701 I'm building. So hmm, yeah, stay tuned for that. <laughs> this entire build series is pretty much on this Super Duty Extreme that I'm building, but um, and of course, I think a lot of you already know because I'm getting several questions about the single seat 701, and it is still. It is still going too. I actually started thinking about the concept for this single seat narrowed 701 years ago. I just wasn't able to get started on a kit, but anyway, years and years ago, actually, uh, just just after uh, we're ta probably talking four or five years ago, I started started this whole idea in my head. And these these little things I just made out of poster board are well, they're they're just as old. They're years old. Um, Basically, what I did here was build a rear fuselage, just hot glue cut out, and I did it to scale best I could. So, uh, the one on the your left here is a standard 701 rear fuselage, just model and scale down. The one on the right is my concept of what it would be like to have a narrowed 701. Just looking at the little models, the cardboard, pasteboard models I made, uh, it's it's not just narrower, it's a fair amount shorter also. And a lot narrower. So it's that's my concept. That's what I'm trying to accomplish. Part of the reason I put this thing on hold was because, well, of course, I'm I'm really trying to focus on getting this super duty up and flying. But also this narrowed fuselage is going to make it kind of tricky to have a control system like a standard 701. So I knew the 750 series had a lot different control system. And I wanted to see exactly how all that worked and went together so I could maybe implement some of it into this new narrowed 701 that I'm building. And I think, I think that's going to be the way to do it because the 750 series uses a mixer tube back there. And instead of, instead of having the, the, the big cage type mixer in the 701 is all contained below. And it uses the, the smaller pieces on each side. That gives me a lot more room, but it also gives me some flexibility in being able to shorten all this and potentially using something like a tie rod to come from the center stick over to one of them and then having a another rod that goes from side to side. So that's my kind of my concept on that. Um, I've got it kind of thought out in my head, but you know, implementing is it going to be a little different. And I just really, really wanted to pursue this 750 Super Duty and get it going and, and see exactly where, where the controls are going to come out and how I like them and how I can 
implement all of that same type of ideology into the narrowed single seat 701. So another reason I've kind of put this one on hold, I'm not, I'm really not sure exactly what engine or motor I want to use to, to power this thing yet. Um, the, the firewall is, it's less than 15 inches across. So the firewall's maybe not even half of what it is on a standard 701, a very, very narrow firewall. And that's going to limit what I can do nicely with the engine. You know, I love my UL power and that's, that's my first choice, but if I use that, it's gonna stick out quite a bit on both sides. Even the Super 701, I had to, to kind of bubble it out just a little bit to get the clearance I need because the engine's wider than the firewall. This one would be extreme for sure if I have to, you know, if I put a cowl on it and bubble it out. And of course there are options. I could, I could cut the cowl and have the exposed um, head sticking out, that kind of stuff. And, and I may look at that, but I, I just, I really haven't decided on the engine choice yet or exactly how to proceed. And I haven't really totally nailed down the mission for this 701, this narrowed one. Um, I'm hoping that this Super Duty will do everything that I think it will do, everything I dream of doing with it. And if it will, I don't know that I will need this to do everything like uh, the, the long range stuff, the not flying, all that kind of stuff. If it's extremely cold, I may not even put a cabin heat in this because if it's that cold, I'll just get in the Super Duty. So the mission's kind of evolving with this one. Well, you know, what am I gonna do with it? And that comes to a whole bunch of factors in mind. You know, do I build this one to where it is a competition only airplane? If I do that, it seems like most of the competitions are, are happening out west or, you know, if, if you go to Valdez or something like that for a stole competition, any of that's a lot of travel. So if I make it competition only, I'm going to probably have to build it to where I can trailer it. And I just hate to have to trailer this thing halfway across the country every time I want to go to a, a, a big competition or, you know, go somewhere to showcase it or show what it's capable of. Um, of course, I can fly it here on the farm, but I, I want to be able to stretch out with it sometimes too. And if I build it competition only, guys, I'm looking at potentially even going electric with this thing. The, the electric motor technology is here. If I could get enough battery to get, you know, a couple of passes around the, the, the circuit and have just a, a little bit of, of time for, you know, the reserve. Um, man, you talk about making it lightweight and all that kind of stuff if we can just get the battery technology caught up. So... I'm kind of waiting on that too. I'm hoping that some of that technology will change as time goes. And if I don't go with the UL power and build it to where I just fly it absolutely everywhere and I decide to make it competition only, I want to build it to where I can put it on a trailer. I can haul it. I can unload it. I can easily put the wings on it without all the extra stuff for light wiring and fuel plumbing and all that kind of stuff that's required. Just a simple quick on and off and load, unload, put together fly, compete, load it back up, and travel. So with all that being said, I'm gonna, I'm gonna quit on this one tonight, uh, the video at least, and I'm gonna see if I can focus on this just a tiny bit more tonight before I quit. I'll try to get that door uh, sort of at least caught up, the, the two caught up with each other. I still have to work on the, the latches and all kinds of stuff to get both doors actually finished, but um, if I could just get them to match and get them close, at least I can move forward with doing the same thing to both of them. And with that being said, thank you all very, very much for watching. Thank you for the comments, the likes, the shares. Um, again, that means a lot to me. So I do appreciate you guys. Thank you. See you tomorrow.